Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Sales coming to you live, the Ric Flair of Crypto. Woo, bringing you love over the crypto interwebs, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. And I got the alien here, and I also got the plant people in the house. And uh, guys, we got lots to talk about. We're seeing something very interesting for Dogecoin, very strange actually, but strange but good. We're seeing that the total network value is is going up guys and that means the number of transactions that are being uh, sent across the uh, network are actually increasing quite alarmingly quite dramatically however dogecoin's uh, price action is still undervalued compared to the network uh, uh, network traffic so we're seeing that the network is you know the, the, so many transactions are happening on a day to day and a minute to minute uh, basis but the price uh, is not indicative of that so this could spell that we could see dogecoin possibly making some real moves real soon guys so this is very good news we're also going to talk about avalanche why it's blasting off and uh this is really good news so we're going to do a deep dive into dogecoin do a deep dive into uh avalanche and then we're going to talk about you know price of bitcoin and uh, look at all the coins in the house so that's what we're going to do we're going to talk about dogecoin and uh and avalanche in the house so hopefully this is going to be something a little bit different something a little bit new and something that's going to make you love the og even more guys and gals remember this video is not financial advice this is just the og in the house expressing his opinion this video is for education and entertainment purposes so guys get entertained before the alien gets mad guys and don't forget to go down there and give a super chat and support the channel any way you can and i would appreciate it if you would uh, do three things for me one smash the likes looks like that go down there and do it and smash the likes and two don't forget to comment to comment to comment and uh, the final thing that i need you guys to do be so kind as to subscribe down there and uh, remember uh guys if you got salty comments that you're right and we have beautiful freedom of speech everywhere all the time but keep the uh, keep the uh, salty comments constructive and don't uh, don't uh, be attacking people personally and remember this is not financial advice and i'm just trying to provide you a different kind of insight and uh kind of let you got let you guys know what's going on in the crypto world so let's jump into the door Dogecoin price right now. Let's look at the TA on Dogecoin. So it looks like uh, Dogecoin is uh, at 2248 right now. And uh, we've got a little bit of green a green candle on the four hour right now. And today we went as high as uh, 20, 22.78. So we're still, we're still uh, well above the uh, 22 cent level support line. So Doge is actually doing a pretty good job of maintaining its support line. It's not collapsing uh, below the 22 cent. And it's staying above that uh, huge, huge red descending uh, line that goes back all the way to uh, uh, October 28th. So that in itself is looking pretty good that Doge is holding its own. So this is very interesting, guys. Uh, this is an article. That came out. So does Doge present itself as a legitimate investment option at this point? Or is it just caca, right? So, you know, this article is quite interesting. And, you know, organic organic rally on Doge cards. So we're going to see an organic Dogecoin rally happening very soon. And, you know, and this is very interesting because we're seeing the data right now is revealing something quite intriguing and a trend with respect to the coin's network value to transaction ratio. Simply stated, the ratio gauges the relationship between the market cap and the transfer volumes. And we're seeing right now that the number of transfer volumes, that whenever the NVT is high, is high, indicates that the network value is outpacing the value being transferred on the network. So we're seeing that the the number of transactions over the network is very high, but the price is still down. So we saw something like that happen with Ethereum as well, that we had a huge amount of transaction, but the price was not, uh, you know, the price was not in line with the transaction value. So we're going to, we're seeing that here with Dogecoin. You can see that the Doge and uh, the NVT is very high guys right now, and it's looking very, very good. So. Now this, you know, and, and, you know, now this usually doesn't rub off immediately on evaluation of an old coin for it only represents a legitimate growth. So we're seeing some legitimate growth with Dogecoin right now. However, the same does not say uh, in a long-term evaluation of underlying coin. So we're seeing legitimate growth in terms of the total transactions across the Dogecoin network. So, well, in terms of utility, Doge, of course, is nowhere near close to Ethereum, but its MVT search speaks for itself. Post the recent upgrade, Doge's development legs also look quite strong because you know for a long period of time the devs had not been doing nothing and they, you know the network transactions were pretty slow. But this is really picking up, guys. Now it's quite ironic for Mean Coin's development activity is doing quite well, but Doge is keeping keeping surprising us. 
And you know, Doge is surprised because the network activity is very healthy. The other thing we can see right here is even Doge's ownership uh, stats at this play at this stage look very healthy, guys. Despite the price really not doing well, hodlers haven't left the market. And this is a sign of faith. So when we have a high NVT value, we have a lot of people holding. Sure, I believe that we have Dogecoin whales manipulating the price, holding it down artificially. I think that's going to happen. And that's why I keep saying that this is, you, this is a good time to be hodling. And all the data here, the data right here, guys, is telling us that people are, people are absolutely hodling, hodling Dogecoin like never before, guys. And we can see that. So there's still a lot of faith in, in the meme coin. There's still a lot, a lot of faith in Dogecoin. But you know, moreover, the number of short-term uh, participants have increased over the last couple of weeks. So we're seeing a lot of people who are just starting to get into Doge again over the last couple of weeks, implying that we might see some action in the next coming days. Minor outflows have additionally shrunk, wiping off the possibility of a massive dump. So, you know, technically things are looking pretty good. So if we keep the current state of Doge in mind, this could say and indicate that Doge is ready to take off. And, and I think we could see that this whole catalyst for Doge taking off could be the Bitcoin price going up. So guys, this is a really positive article. So I still think that Doge is critically, critically with these catalysts, the MVT, the miners still holding, the number of uh, Dogecoin holders still hodling. These three catalysts are going to see an amazing, amazing pump for Dogecoin coming very soon, guys. So this is positive, guys. This is positive. It may not be represented in terms of the price, but this is very positive, guys. You should be hurrying out there for Dogecoin. So hopefully you guys are loving this article and loving this uh, video. Please don't forget to go down there, smash the likes, subscribe, and share this video with all the Dogecoin lovers out there. So let's take a look at Avalanche right now. So Avalanche, as you guys can see, it formed an all-time high uh, recently of about $146. It's come down from an all-time high, and we have some overhead resistance at $138, and we have some really good technical support at around about $128, and some other good technical support about $114. So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on with Avalanche? So we're seeing that Avalanche, Avalanche Doge's, Dodge's crypto market correction makes its way to the top 10. So as you guys know that Avalanche has been flipping and flopping uh, Dogecoin and been going up in the top 10. So this is pretty good. And a lot of that has been, you know, uh, spurned by we've had, you know, Deloitte Touche, Apetin. So the layer one blockchain platform and Ethereum competitor, Avalanche. I remember Avalanche is a smart contract play. It's a layer one solution, very similar to Ethereum. And uh, on Sunday, the November 21st, Avalanche topped the all time highs of $146, making its way to the top 10 crypto uh, and it and the listing and seeding Doge. And it got, and, and as I said, it pushed Doge out of there. But Doge is coming back. Doge has come back. And now these two guys are flipping each other off. Uh, you know, flip, flip, flip. And let's see who's going to be the better coin. Is it going to be Doge? Is it going to be Avalanche? But like I said, we are seeing that we have some good fundamentals, some good catalysts for Doge that could tell us that Doge is preparing to break out. And I think what we need is the trigger that's going to set all of these things off and all of these things in motion is going to be the Bitcoin price, right? So we're seeing that, you know, uh, right now Avalanche in the last 30 days is up over 100%, guys. So some other news that's coming in for Avalanche right now, Avalanche. Uh, Dodge's crypto market correction makes its way to the top 10 crypto list. So yeah, Avalanche has been going gangbusters, right? And one of the reasons why we're seeing that is that we're seeing Avalanche is surging uh, on the Deloitte Touche partnership. So Avalanche has been hitting all-time highs under its own steam with a surge from $84 to $146 over the last week. So news that Avalabs has partnered with Deloitte Touche has been adding fuel to the price pump. You know, uh, Avalanche, the native token Avalanche ecosystem has moved up to 10th place. We know that. And it's now surpassed the meme coins, Doge and Shiba Inu. It's good to see that the layer one blockchain with fast and cheap transactions has taken over from the hype based cryptocurrencies with absolutely no fundamental value underpinning. Okay, this statement I don't agree with. Uh, whoever wrote this does not know anything about Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu does have value. It's got smart contracts, it's got NFTs, it's got a DEX. Also, too, we can see that MVT 
of Dogecoin is looking pretty good. We're seeing that the developers are reducing their transaction fees and increasing the speed. We got the Ethereum bridge I talked about previously in my video today is coming. So, you know, obviously this person who wrote this article, let's see, let's see, let's see who this Debbie Downer. So this is by Lori Dunn. So Debbie Downer, he doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to meme coins. Definitely, uh, you know, Shiba Inu you know, and Doge do have fundamentals and we love them both. We love both. I love the Doge. Like I said, I'm holding 4 million Doge and I haven't sold, I haven't sold anything and I still believe that Doge is going to go up, guys. You know, maybe we don't see $1 in December, but that's not bad, guys. We're going to see 65 to 75 cents. That's going to come. And, you know, in Q2, when we get the Ethereum bridge and the Starlink happening, it's going to go, it's going to go back gamba, gangbusters, guys. But like I said, we can see right here that if we look at the NVT value, we're seeing that the, the whole NVT value of Dogecoin is, is good, guys, because one of the biggest problems that we saw with Doge way back when was that the developers and the devs hadn't done anything. So simply had this Dogecoin foundation and, uh, you know, this has been happening. We're seeing much more impetus from the developers and this is helping uh, Dogecoin's MVT value, guys. So this is good, guys, because typically the MVT value goes up, guys, and then we're gonna see the uh, the actual token value start to rise uh, in price as well. So this is pretty good, guys. Pretty good news in house. So also seeing, we're seeing Avalanche defies market crash to replace Doge's top 10. So everybody's talking about Avalanche, Avalanche, Avalanche. So, you know, the biggest reason why we're seeing Avalanche going to the moon is because it's partnership with Deloitte. And that's one of the really big things. And uh, that's happening as well, guys. So, and also we got, uh, you know, Avalanche also has its own stable coin, right, as well. So things are looking pretty good for Avalanche. But remember, when things go up and up, they're also going to come down. Look what happened with Solana, right? Solana went almost to $286. It came down. So, guys, do not ape into Avalanche right now. Uh, be careful because we could be seeing that Avalanche could start to cool off, guys. So, would I be going into Avalanche at this point? No. I would wait till we have a good, good correction uh, because if you FOMO in at the top and, and you know, chase the rocket, you could get burned, guys. Smash the likes, subscribe, BYB in the house, guys. So let's take a look at the total. Uh, let's take a look at the total market cap in the house. Uh, let's get to the coins, guys. So there's the Avalanche, pro Avalanche, the Avalanche price in the house. So we're seeing that it's up uh, 39.54 percent over the last uh, seven days. It's up just over 100 percent in 30 days. Up 157 uh, percent uh, in 90 days. And right now it's down 5 percent. So like I said. When things go up, they do come down, guys. So let's take a look at the coins in the house right now. So we can see right now uh, BTC is is picked up some steam. So things are things are starting to pick up a little bit, and it's now at fifty eight uh, thousand eight hundred ninety seven. And that's because you guys in America are waking up, are waking up. Thank you very much. And it's down just slightly. And uh, we're seeing that Ethereum is at four thousand two hundred seventy eight dollars. That's what, down one point one four percent in the house. A B and B right now is uh, down one point two one percent, and that's at five hundred eighty one dollars. Solana is coming back right now, thank goodness, and it's now up five point five five percent. ADA is still down. Debbie Downer, ADA. Oh, Debbie Downer, when is ADA going to make a move? I'm waiting for that. You're waiting for that. Let's get it. I don't know when, guys. I can't tell you what's happening with ADA. I do not know what's happening. It's down 2.26%. Polkadot is down 1.7%. I think this is going to probably turn green in the next couple of hours. And Polkadot is at 40.64%. So Avalanche in the house, again, is at 29.942. And Doge is at 29.854 billion. So Avalanche just flipped, just flipped. Uh, Dogecoin by like a hundred billion. It's like a hundred billion apart, and uh, right now Dogecoin is trading at twenty two five seven eight, and it's down only point zero point eight eight percent. It was down like two point four five percent in my previous video, so it's coming back. We're also seeing that Shiba Inu right now is down as well, just over half percent. And that's at forty five. So we're also seeing CRO is pumping again. I talked about that. CRO is pumping. So. Things are not looking too bad in the house. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin on the four-hour chart right now, uh, and we're seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin right now on the four-hour chart is trading at uh, fifty-eight thousand seven hundred and forty-nine dollars, uh, and we're just below the support line of fifty. 50, uh, 58,900. So I think we're going to get up there. I think that today we're probably going to close. I think we, we may be able to get 
uh, Bitcoin up to you know about 59,000, maybe even hit 60,000 again today. That would be fantastic, fantastic. Let's take a look at the total market cap right now. So the total market cap has come up, guys. It was at 265 trillion earlier today in Vietnam, and now it's back up to 270, guys. And we're seeing that the total volume is at 97.72. So this is effect of America waking up. Happy Monday, everybody in America. Pump up the markets, guys, pump it up. And right now we're seeing that the Bitcoin dominance at 41.17 in the house. So overall things are looking pretty good. Let's take a look at Ethereum on the daily right now on the four hour chart. So Ethereum is coming back right now and it's at 4,290. So it looks like we could be having a bit of a turnaround. This could be the pump that we're waiting for. So hopefully when I wake up tomorrow, we'll see $60,000 incoming guys. So that's looking pretty good in the house guys. So let's take a look at the OG portfolio in the house right now. Let's take a look at it. So hopefully you guys had a really blessed weekend. You know, we got the Thanksgiving coming up in America uh, next weekend. So it's gonna be a long weekend. And right now we're seeing that things are not looking too bad for the OG portfolio. Maybe this portfolio is not financial advice. This is just the OG expressing opinion. This is a portfolio for entertainment person. If you decide to copy any part of this portfolio, do so absolutely at your own risk, guys. So we're seeing right now the total portfolio value is 107. We're up 107%. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So all the haters and all the doubters that said the OG don't know nothing, there is right in front of your face, the numbers don't lie, we're up 107%, guys. And we're seeing that our total profit is uh, 5,404. So that gives us a grand total. We only start with 5K, guys, and that brings us up to 10,403. So it just goes to show that, you know, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I was able to, uh, you know, double my portfolio. And then we did this started in July, guys, July 2nd. So, you know, with this momentum, hopefully when we uh, top out, at the end of this bull run, we should be able to at least 2x, uh, 2 and a half, 3x this thing. I think it's going to happen, guys. So with that being said, guys, it's just a short one. Don't forget to follow me. Follow, follow, follow on my Twitter. And uh, we got uh, 3,201 people following. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if we can get this up to 4,000 pretty soon. Go down there, smash the likes. I would really appreciate it. Show some love, guys. And smash those likey likeys. Comment, tea, comment, tea, comment, tea. And of course, subscribe, guys. And if you don't want to subscribe, that's also your right, guys. And, uh, you know, keep the comments uh, positive out there and uh, keep the comments respectful at all times. Guys, don't forget to go down and, uh, you know, check out all my linky links, become a Patreon member, buy the channel coffee, support the channel, boom. And if you're watching in the live stream, do uh, give us a super chat. I would appreciate it. And get the mug, the mug. It's full of love. It's full of joy. You want it. You want it. And uh, check out all the other merch, guys. We got hats. We got hoodies. We got backpacking backpacks. So, guys, get it. And we also got the new product, the Bearity Birdie Bear. Get that for your kids. Your kids are going to love it. And uh, don't forget to cruise on over. Cruise on over to the Weefy Wifey's channel. And uh, subscribe, BYB, over there. And leave a comment, guys. And, uh, guys, if you want a shout-out, leave me a comment. And we'll try to get, uh, get a shout-out to you, guys. And think about becoming a member, guys. Become a member. Join the Crypto Daily Trade Signals a membership in the house. Get special preview, special perks. And guys and guys, I just want to say God bless each and every one of you in the house. This is the OG in the house coming to you live from Vietnam. And it's a Ric Flair. Woo! Bring you crypto love over the interwebs. And guys and gals, Doge is going to go up soon. We're just waiting for this huge big catalyst. And Doge is going to absolutely go nuts, guys. We can see the MB MBT is telling us this. You should believe it. I believe it. God bless each and every one of you. Go with God. Be with God. I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! Let's get it, guys.